But anyway, how do you prepare yourself for a show? I'm very worried. Last last concert we played was in Iceland. We had 900 people come in, in Reykjavik, so think about that. Yeah? Have you been to Iceland? You don't like Iceland? I've never been there. It's never been. It's the nicest place. It's the nicest place. Do you know any Icelanders in Copenhagen? Have you met any? There's a certain there's an Icelandic record shop in Copenhagen. Yeah, Tor- yeah. Have you yeah. been? Oh, they're great people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. See, we, we can trick people. That's the difference. We're not too serious. We're like funny. Mm. But there were 900 Icelanders uh, or Icelandic people yeah. who were waiting to see you perform. And how did you feel? Tonight? No, then. Then? Oh, we played really good. The paper, though, they were like, somebody needs to tell Anton, and we know that he knows how to drink. He needs to spend more time playing music and less time drinking. I'm not jumping jack. Goes the weasel. Like everybody in the music industry. I just play music like jazz style. You know? But 60s style, too. You know? But I'm like, I don't care. What's the next next thing you're going to record? I'm going to record with my friends in Scandinavia and make a record. Because I think I, because I visit here, I'm going to make money here and keep it here for my friends. Right? But also as an example, um, I want to leave my friends with a sense that they can do they're smarter than me and strong handsome men and women good looking people have you met lots of people here but that you have starting to know I've always had friends even when I was a little kid I've always had pen pals you know do you know what that is pen pal like letters did you have pen pals in Scandinavia I always have I have more friends in Scandinavia than you do I'll bet you money what, what did you do? Was it when you were... Uh, uh, Even as a child, yeah? I keep up with people. Yeah. And you still keep in touch with these people? Well, the internet makes it much simpler. Same thing. But tell me, I'm have a you... a man of letters. Yeah, but you, had, you have been writing to some of these people for, since you were like seven, eight... Kids. But different people. I'm always making friends. Yeah. The people are like, that's a good person. How have, what have they said about you, Anton, and, and you, the, when they have seen that you have been a, becoming a musician and uh, the Brian... Here we are in Roskilde, right? They just rebuilt the biggest Viking ship they're rowing to Ireland right now. That's the big news story. Who cares about my friends and my pen pals? But I think it's interesting. Do they come here to see you play? People are here from all over. Yeah, but your pen pals. The, no, the fanaticism. Now we're getting back to Germany. <laughs> There's people here. I have friends from all over that are here. Okay. And I just thought of uh, maybe there was the some big story for Sweden. Yeah. Don't worry, Sweden. Are you there know? any Swedish pimples? I have Swedish pimples. Yeah. Watch. No. Say hi to your mom. Say hello, mom. Hello, hello, mom. Ready. She's the best photographer from Sweden. This is Linda Skull from uh, Kop, uh, Stockholm, right? Are you Anton's pen pal? Who? You, oh. Linda. Brave and man. No, I'm Anton's friend. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. She was just like going, why are you asking me this question? But I told her that I would tell her mom that, uh, that she's the best photographer in the world. Because she is. Thank you very much, Anton. Uh, hey. yeah. Thank you for your time. Sorry. I wish I'd be better.